Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to take a quick look at Google Glass. Now this is the wearable computer that Google has been developing for quite some time, and despite whatever you may think of this device, it really may represent the future for all of us. And I say that because not long ago, things like smartphones and tablets were nothing more than pipe dreams, and today, I think most of you know, they not only are a mainstream or mainstay in your life, but they also, odds are, have changed the way you live. And that's what Google is going for here with Glass, because it's the next step in automation, connectivity, and really giving you access to all of the informa uh, information and data you could possibly want. Now that doesn't mean it's for everyone, no question about it. There are plenty of people right now who look at this device and say, there's no way that I would wear this. In fact, for the first year of development, there are roughly now, uh, I believe, 10,000 Google Glass Explorers, as Google has coined them. Uh, you know, it's something where you can't even get prescription lenses fitted for these. So someone like myself who uses glasses would be forced to, you know, lean on contacts, although now they are starting to finally fit them, which, of course, was just a matter of time and a matter of success. And keep in mind that not only do you have to get an invitation, which is why I brought up the Glass Explorer program, uh, application form which has changed it used to require you to fill out basically a why you would be perfect for the program description and about you section now it just literally wants your info so a clear transition to getting ready to make this item saleable to the public but Google still in the Explorer phase this is just version 2.0 and luckily enough I finally did get a response and I have my ability now to enter the program and that's why I'm sharing this video with all of you today because I was curious whether or not uh, you all felt that uh, this is really a look at the future and it's something you would be interested to see on my channel because after all uh, that's what the Digital Digest is all about and this is one of those opportunities to get a look at as well as use something that even though it's incredibly expensive at $1500 really may end up becoming a standard a lot sooner than you might think. Now in terms of what they give you out of the box, I can't zoom in anymore, uh, but you get of course the uh, Glass Explorer Edition which has been revised from the first edition that they launched last year. You get the Twist On Active Shade which uh, is essentially the sun visor you see right there. A mono earbud that's a new enhancement over the original uh, Google Glass uh, 1.0 and a carry pouch, and then of course a cable and charger. Uh, and then the shades, as they are, are pointing out, seamlessly twist on and off of glass. So they're touting the fact that it's really easy to swap the shades on and off. And they have both uh, clear as well as sun shades. Now in terms of colors, you can see they've got a variation. They have white, which is out of stock. They have charcoal. They have a uh, tangerine. Apparently the, the cotton, the white color, is the most popular, or at least at the current moment it's out of stock. They also have a shale and then a sky blue. Now personally, if I had to pick, I'm probably leaning towards the charcoal or the shale. Uh, the charcoal, in my opinion, seems to be the least um, flamboyant, and with a device like this, the last thing you want to do is try to attract even more attention. And there are a lot of different uses for this. You could be looking at it and saying, what would you practically really do with this? I mean, it's just a very basic interface to your phone, as well as giving you uh, visual information, search queries, the ability to uh, get better voice commands going on, uh, navigation. Uh, but apps are being developed. That's the whole point of the program. It's just a really expensive entry point. And that's why, again, I'm sharing this with all of you because I want feedback. I want to hear what all of you think because, after all, this is being designed for everyone, not just the, uh, you know, entry or, excuse me, the early adopters that are willing to fork over the money and have actually been invited to give Google their money. Uh, you may notice the uh, accessory is also expensive. If you want stereo earbuds rather than the mono that's included so that you can actually make calls using it, uh, $85. An extra earbud will run you $50. The clear shield, $75. An extra charging cable, $50. If you want an additional pouch, another $50. And trust me, this accessory list is only going to broaden as the device becomes more popular. I mean, look at the 
varied color selection we already have. Again, the only one that sold out is cotton. I'm just double checking it again. So please leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. If you think it's a great thing that you really want to see me cover and would be interested not only in my coverage, but also actual glass uh, shot video, maybe reviews that I would start doing using the glass, because that's one application where I see it being a great tool uh, for point of view uh, unboxings and reviews, as well as general use. You know, when I want to be able to give all of you feedback of how a tablet works, no better way than to capture it live while, user, uh, while using something like glass. So I see a lot of applications for it beyond just going out into nature and exploring in the general sense, but more work-related applications. And that's where I think glass is really going to have great adoption and adaptation because it can really be shaped to work for just about any business structure. And as long as you're not using it while driving or other ways that make it unsafe or a privacy concern, really only good things should come out of something like this. I mean, this really does represent a big step in the future. It's more than just a wearable camera with a little LCD screen over your right, uh, above your right eye is what I should say. So hoping to get some good feedback from all of you. It's definitely an interesting product and it's definitely highly priced to say the least. Uh, I would expect that eventually this product will be something around $500 when it does make it to a wide launch. Uh, Google originally had aimed to have it released by the end of this year, but as I mentioned, the change in the registration form uh, to me, as well as uh, the beefing up of accessories and, and color schemes, speaks to that they're closer, they're just not quite there yet, and it's probably going to be sometime in 2014. I just don't know how they're going to get that price down from the 1500 Of course, that comes with economies of scale, and hopefully by the time they're able to get real mass production rather than invitation-based mass, uh, you know, invitation-based production uh, with an incredibly high price tag, then we'll see. Also, one other thing I want to point out, you used to have to go to their actual uh, offices in San Francisco or New York. Now they will ship it. So that's another sign that they're ramping up, getting ready to really do a broad launch rather than just the narrow test sample, the beta phase that it's been in and now has now entered the second version with uh, the Explorer 2.0 program. So again, just looking for all of your feedback, a very cool and interesting product, uh, not really a matter of whether it's worth the $1,500, clearly, because I don't think anyone can justify that amount for a device like this, but it is more about what it represents in the tech world and eventually in our daily lives. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Look forward to your feedback, and of course, as usual, Please feel free to subscribe. Later.